by this um, uh, strategy which is launched today. Uh, for Norway, both stabilization and reconciliation and peace building have been uh, priorities for many years in Somalia. And we have, we have had many discussions internally on how we can better see these efforts in relation to each other, how can they strengthen each other and be coordinated. It's not that easy because there are different budget lines, different projects, different partners. Uh, but um, uh, we, we think that it's really important and it's possible to make a stabilization effort, like for example building a bridge or repairing a well, to make this a peace project where the different actors, the different clans are cooperating together and building trust by doing this together in the communities. And of course, uh, in this, the uh, federal member states and the local communities uh, will be uh, the, the, those who need to implement this on the ground. We, are, uh, we have been talking a lot uh, um, in the past years about gender mainstreaming. And based on the presentation here today, I will say, say that the Somali side is, uh, is performing better than the international side. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyway, maybe we should start to think about, talk about uh, reconciliation mainstreaming, that in every project, reconciliation should be a component in it. Uh, I would like to uh, congratulate, uh, also like my uh, colleague Håkon, um, to see this launch of the uh, National Reconciliation Strategy. I will congratulate the, the Deputy Prime Minister, uh, Minister Fiki, and uh, the Member States with this launch. And we hope also in the not too long future to see also the launch of the National Reconciliation Framework. Thank you very much.